Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Keshav Jadav and in this video we will see introduction to roots of equation. Let us consider an equation y is equal to f of x. This f of x may be any equation in the form of x. For example, 2x square minus 11x plus 5. As this equation contains only terms of x, it is called f of x equation. Let us draw a graph of this given equation. This x axis and y axis. This is positive x axis. This is negative x axis. Here it is positive y axis and here it is negative y axis. Now to draw the graph of this given equation, let us put x is equal to 0. So if we put x is equal to 0 in this equation, then we will get y is equal to 5. So we can locate that point here. x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 5. Now let us consider x is equal to 1. So if you put x is equal to 1 in this equation, then here we will get 2 into 1 square minus 11 into 1 plus 5. So we will get y is equal to minus 4. So for x is equal to 1, we will get y is equal to minus 4. So here we can locate that point. Next, let us consider x is equal to 3. So if you put x is equal to 3 in this equation, then we will get 2 into 3 square minus 11 into 3 plus 5 which is equal to minus 10. So for x is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 10. So we can locate that point here. Now for this given point, we can draw a curve. So this is curve for given equation f of x. This is the point at which curve intersects x axis. So value of x at which curve intersects x axis it is called root of that equation. So for this value of x y is equal to 0. So this value of x is called root of that given equation. There are different methods to find roots of equation. So let us see some analytical methods to find roots of given equations. So first method is factoring method. So let us take same example 2x square minus ln x plus 5. Now we have to find out the value of x at which y is equal to 0. So we can write 2x square minus 11x plus 5 is equal to 0. So we have to find out the value of x so that this equation will satisfy. Now in factoring method, we have to rewrite this 11x such that its addition will be equal to 11x and its product will be equal to 5 into 2 that is 10. So if we divide this 11x as then its summation will be equal to minus ln x and its product will be equal to plus 10. So we can rewrite this equation as this first term 2x square as it is and this minus ln x we can write as minus 10x minus x and this plus 5 as it is. Now from first two terms we can take 2x common. So here we can write 2x in bracket x minus 5. So if you take 2x common then inside bracket we will get here x minus 5. Now here if you take minus sign common then inside bracket we will get x minus 5. So here x minus 5 is common. So we can take that x minus 5 common and if you write the equation so if you take x minus 5 common then inside bracket there will be 2x and here minus 1. So here this x minus 5 into 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So either x minus 5 will be equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 will be equal to 0. So here if you take x minus 5 as 0 then we will get x is equal to 5. And if we take 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 then we will get x is equal to 1 by 2 means 0.5. So x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 0.5 these are the roots of this given equation. Means if you put x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 0 0.5 in this given equation then this equation will satisfy. So here let us draw graph of this given equation. So this is positive x, this is positive y and this is negative y. So here if you put x is equal to 0 in this equation then we will get y is equal to 5. 
So we can look at that point here. Similarly, if we put x is equal to 1, then we will get y is equal to minus 4. So for x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 4, we will get that point here. Then for x is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 10. So we can look at that point here. Then for x is equal to 5, y is equal to 0. So we can look at that point here. Now we can draw curve passing through these points like this. So this is the curve of this given equation. Now this curve intersects at two points and the points at which curve intersect x-axis is called roots of that equation. So these two are the roots of that equation and here we can see this value will be 0.5 and this is equal to 5. So these are the roots of given equation. Let us see another method for finding root of quadratic equations. Let us consider an quadratic equation of this form y is equal to f of x which is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Root of such quadratic equation we can find by using formula xr is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So by using this formula we can find out root of quadratic equation. Let us consider an example of quadratic equation y is equal to f of x is equal to 2x square minus nnx plus 5. This is a quadratic equation. Here, if you compare a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 11 and c is equal to 5. So, by using this formula, we can put these values and we can get xr is equal to minus into bracket minus 11, this plus minus as it is under root b square means minus 11 square minus 4 into ac means a is equal to 2 and c is equal to 5 divided by 2a so 2 into a is equal to 2 so 2 into 2 so here if we simplify this then we will get xr is equal to 11 plus minus 9 divided by 4 so if you consider plus sign then we will get 20 by 4 is equal to 5 and if you consider minus sign then 2 by 4 is equal to 0 0.5 so we will get root of quadratic equation as 5 and 0.5. So there will be two roots of given equation as explained in previous case. So this is x is equal to 0.5 and this is x is equal to 5. So these are the roots of given equation. Let us see different cases of quadratic equation. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then there are no real roots for given equation because curve of that equation will be like this. This curve is not intersecting to x axis. So there will not be any real root. There will not be any real root for given equation if b square minus 4 is less than 0. Let us consider second case. If b square minus 4 is equal to 0 then there is only one real root for that quadratic equation and curve of that equation will be like this. So there will be a single point at which curve of that given equation will intersect x axis. So there will be only one real root if b square minus 4 is equal to 0. Let us consider third case. If b square minus 4 is is greater than 0 then there are two real roots for given equation like this. So the curve of that given equation will intersect x-axis at two points. So there will be two roots if b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0. Now there are some limitations of analytical method for finding roots of equation. Let us consider algebraic equations of this form or transcendental equations like this. This is exponential equation and this is trigonometric equation. So for such equations there is no formula or analytical method to get roots. So we need to go for numerical methods to get solution of such equations. So these are the numerical methods which can be used to find roots of algebraic and transcendental equations. That is bisection method or it is also called as half interval method. 
then regular falsi method or it is also called as false position method then secant method then newton epsilon method and successive approximation method etc so these are the some of the numerical methods which can be used to find out roots of algebraic and transcendental equations here it is very difficult to find roots by using analytical methods thank you for listening